So how do you go from this into this? Well, stick with me because I'm gonna show you how I did it. Let's jump into this together. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I'm upcycling cardboard boxes into something productive. Now, these things can be art projects, they can be gifts, you can sell them at craft shows. We're going to do several of these and I'm going to demonstrate the concepts so you guys can get it and go off and do your own. So with this one, I took a cardboard box with the ortho laser and this is one of the reasons I purchased it is because of its large bed size. I could take a big piece of cardboard very economically, throw it in there and cut it all up. And so I really like that idea. So I've got K40 laser, but that's a little bit overkill for this and the bit size is just too small to take you know a big sheet of cardboard and slide it in there so the ortho works perfect and here's a great example I'll do a quick overlay up in the corner of some of this uh, being cut out so one of the things which I've done is I've actually gone into Inkscape and I took the design from the 3d printed desk stand I created and instead of uh, square holes I made it round and then what I simply did is to told the ortho to print out a whole bunch of them. Now one of the things that I did is just then printed out a blank with no holes for the base. Now I want to share a little bit of a tip with you guys working in cardboard. Now number one I did a video a while back and I'll link to it about cutting cardboard and, and you know so look at that and so you get some uh, tips and tricks on speeds and feeds for cutting this stuff. The second part that I discovered the hard way was the orientation of the corrugation. So if we look at this example, so here's the first pieces I cut. You can see the corrugation lines up here and this corrugation lines up here. So there's two types of corrugation or you know two sides to it obviously. So when I take this side, as you see, it does not match and it doesn't look very good. So one of the biggest tips I learned is as you change cardboard, make sure the orientation of the corrugation matches if that's the look you're going for and that's the look I was going for here is I want all these orientations to match so when we look at it on end like this we see the corrugations and it looks kind of cool. So now the pieces I've printed out I believe about 14 of these. They're about four millimeters thick and then along with the base so this gives me approximately a 60 millimeter tall stand now maybe you're asking what is it well it's actually pretty simple it's a pen stand so you can stick pens in it like this calculator goes in here Bob's your uncle and it's all pretty cool now the pieces I'm going to show you the assembly part now to assemble this I've done a couple different things. Number one, I've gotten some basically just wood glue and a small brush. Now, you don't have to get too particular about this, but now the other piece which I created was a bit of a corner jig right here. So I just simply cut uh, two pieces of scrap uh, particle board I had laying around and put it in a you know 90 degree clamp, glued it up, and it's all set because what we're going to do at the end of the day you know trying to make sure all these are square and stay square is very difficult so as you can see with this jig I can press them into this jig and make sure it's all square so when the glue goes to set up it works out so now let's go ahead and take a look at the gluing process I'm gonna set this aside for a minute and I'm gonna leave the base here and then I'm gonna actually take and flip over one of the uh, faces so what I'm going to do is run a small bead of glue as I drip it all over the place. So maybe you can be a little bit cleaner than me. Now you really don't have to get this all perfect if you will. Uh, and you really don't have to cover all the pieces. I'm being a little bit sloppy here. But then I'm going to set this aside. Now one of the other tips is this tray you see. I picked these up off of Amazon. They're super handy. They're just serving trays. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the glue and I'm going to get it from here. And I don't have to be too careful on these, these bottom ones. And again, the biggest thing is you want to get the glue covering the edges and some in the center because again, this thing is not a big structural piece. I'll get a little bit of this and to dab it up. And just so that. Now what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll set this on our base just like so. And then what I'm going to do 
is off to the side here. Start lining these up. Now, what I'm going to, again, come back and do is on my second piece, because again, I glue to the front piece, and I mean, I think all this is pretty obvious to any UDI wires or crafters out there. None of this is very hard. It is, again, I'm just going to put some glue on here. Now, now I'm not going to belabor you with all this. I just want you to kind of see the idea of doing this and just trying to get it into you know most of it it doesn't have to be overly perfect uh, you don't want it over the sides big time or anything like that because obviously that will take away from the aesthetics of it and then so what we want to do is we have another one and we put that down and we push these and make sure each one's pushed in the corner we'll put some down for us now what i'm going to do is simply repeat this for each one of these so i'm not going to bore you with doing you know what uh, another 12 of these so you get the idea let's let this dry up and then we'll come back and talk about it okay through the magic of video it's the next day and here we go we have the finished product so it actually turned out pretty nice it's kind of cool i like the corrugated effect here um, It'd be kind of cool to have the corrugated effect here on the side too now a couple other things that you could do with this so if you're a crafter uh, again you could adorn this with um, you know all kinds of kind of interesting things you could spray it with urethane you could coat it with a shellac i imagine you could spray paint this so you know again a myriad of things you could actually do with this that would make it rather cool the other thing I'm thinking about is again we could take um, some craft foam cut it out on the laser and do a top and bottom piece for this also to give it a unique look and I actually might do this with this so really the the ortho laser really opens up an opportunity for reuse of a lot of materials to kind of make cool things like this because again if you're a crafter and you go to craft shows this is I think would be a very interesting craft show piece in something that you could sell and again you could design and make all kinds of craft based things with it now I will be doing some more episodes because again one of the main reasons I purchased the ortho is actually to cut up cardboard boxes and make unique things out of it if you have some suggestions for unique things you know let me know in the comments below what you think I should make out of the cardboard boxes however before you go I've got a question for you guys what would you guys do with all of these these are the cutouts from all of the blanks that I cut out it seems a pity just to throw them away and waste them all so I don't know hit me up in the comments below what should I do with them they're kind of interesting they're just kind of fun to play with I don't know maybe I just keep saving them up and create a mosh pit with them or something I don't know comments below swag shop in the corner big like over there if you like this video comment below of other ideas subscribes over there and we'll catch you all later cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on